Welcome to New Vegas Mod Clinic Part 8. Now in this video I'm going to cover Power Armor. Now Power Armor is one of the most iconic things in the Fallout series. In fact the first three games actually used Power Armor as the box cover art. Um, so it's, it's sort of an integral part of the whole Fallout genre. And so, of course, there are a lot of mods regarding Power Armor. Some of them make new textures, some of them add new functionality, and some of them actually add whole new sets of Power Armor. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. The first one we're going to cover is part of the Colossus series of Power Armor. Uh, this one is Liena's Squad Armor, and is by a very talented modder called Di Jones. As you can see, this is just an incredible piece of armor. Very, very dark textures, very black. And as you can see, it's actually got a helmet on the belt. You're not wearing your helmet, you have it strung on your belt. But you can just see the level of detail. It's, it's pretty incredible. This is probably one of the most impressive sets of armor you'll see in the game. Now, there are actually three more sets of armor in this one mod. This one is the Field Medic version. As you can see, it's a lot slimmer, looks a little lighter. Uh, but the detail is, is still phenomenal. And this one actually comes with a helmet. Now, this, I think, is a great-looking helmet. I think it matches the armor brilliantly because the armor looks a little lighter. So this helmet looks a little less protection than the normal power armor helmets. Very cool. Now, the next one is the Tri-Guard armor. Uh, this one, as you can see, looks a lot bulkier than the Medic one. Sort of a lot more typical enclave armor, actually, but again, with all those extra details and the lovely black textures. And as you can see, a helmet. And this helmet's sort of a hybrid between the Field Medics one and the enclave helmet. Again, very, very cool indeed. And last of all, the hazmat version of this armor, which really blows me away. I mean, it is incredible. It looks huge. I mean, it really fits the Fallout theme. Um, but it looks enormous. And it actually comes with one of the coolest helmets I've seen, <laughs> as you can see. It just, uh, that just, I think, is absolutely incredible. Okay, to install the Colossus Enclave Liena's squad armor, uh, you're going to need two files. He ships the textures in one file, so you're going to need to download that and the ESPs and meshes in another. So download both of those files. And once those files have downloaded, you're going to need to open up your package manager and create foam mods from both of them. So ESP and meshes. And textures. So I now have two foam mods. Now I'm going to rename these. Uh, edit info. Colossus Enclave Liena's Squad. Same for this one just to make it a little easier for myself and then activate them both for the load order again above Nevada skies but this 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 is sort of completely new equipment so it probably shouldn't conflict with many things and that's it that one is installed now, don't worry if you like the style of armor, but didn't like the black textures. You wanted a more metallic texture because he's also done a Colossus armor version called the T49XV. And as you can see, this uses far more metallic textures that, that would suit the Brotherhood. Um, and yet has still got all those extra details you associate with Colossus armor. It's very, very, very high detail textures. Very, very cool looking but not quite as black and intimidating as his other set. Now, it comes in a couple of different versions. There's the normal version, a Tesla version, and a sort of very heavily armoured version that has a lot more bulk to it. 
but all of them have got that attention to detail and the high quality textures that you sort of expect when getting a Colossus Power Armor set. Installing the Colossus T49XV armor is done by downloading two files. Uh, the first one is version 3, the main file. You're going to need that. Plus you're also going to need a helmet file. Now the comes in two versions. One is called Full Reticle and the other is called Less Complicated Reticle. And uh, the third one here is for people who get a problem with number two. Some people apparently are getting a floating helmet. Uh, but we're going to download this one for now. And you should use this one unless you get problems. There is also a performance version with smaller texture sizes if you have uh, a weaker machine, but I'm not going to bother with that for now. And once those files have downloaded, yet again, create full mod. So, first of all, the main files. Make a copy of the original file, yes. And then the helmet files. Again, I'm going to edit info and add a better name. T49XV. Just so I know what I'm installing. And same for the helmet file. And then I activate them. I'm going to click yes to all, even though it's conflicting with Eve. And yes to all again. And that's that one installed. Going to move it above Nevada Skies again. Next to the other Colossus armor. Now the next mod is yet another Colossus power armor. And as such, of course, as you'd expect, it's very high quality a lot of detail and very very cool looking but it also has a few cool features if you see on its belt there's a helmet see that now when I wear the helmet it disappears from the belt which is very very cool um, it also works for the weapon that's on his back if you notice um, there is a laser rifle on his back and watch what happens when I switch to the laser rifle from the pulse pistol the laser rifle disappears from his back. If I switch back to the pulse pistol, there you go, laser rifle again on the back. It's not perfect if you holster the laser rifle rather than switching it. As you can see, it goes on your back in the wrong place. You have to change weapons for it to actually be holstered correctly. So it's not perfect, but it's very, very cool. Now the Colossus XV Enclave Armor is a single file to download unless you get um, there is apparently a whitish glow on the male version of the legs for some people and there is a fix for that but the main mod just needs uh, one file so download that and once that file's downloaded once again go to the package manager add faux mod And again, I'm going to call, rename this Colossus XV. And then activate that. It seems they share some files, the Colossus mods. I'm going to assume it's okay to overwrite. And again, move so that it's above Nevada skies. Now, the next set of power I'm going to show you is sort of almost the opposite of the Colossus armor. It, instead of looking very shiny and cool, it looks really dirty, rusty, 
um, and is in fact called the Courier 6 Power Armor. And as you can see, it's designed to look like it's seen better days. Uh, the pieces are hanging off at slight angles. The textures made it look like it's been run over by a tank. I mean, I love this. I think this is absolutely brilliant. He's also included a less rusty version of the armor that you can have. And so if you prefer that, and, and I think it's actually still pretty cool. It still looks old and battered, but there's a little less rust on the arms, as you can see. But all in all, I, I just, I love this. I love the fact that someone has made a set of power armor that looks like it has been through a couple of world wars. Now, you can actually get this armor reasonably early on in the game as well. Um, it's only DT23, which is good because it doesn't overpower you early on, and it's comparable to the T45 Brotherhood armor. Um, but all in all, it just it has a completely different feel to it. You feel totally unique. So in the end, I actually stuck with this armor all the way through my Power Armor playthrough. Um, I made a couple of patches to give it all the features from Project Nevada and the Advanced Recon Night Vision. Um, but like I said, just, I really do love this armor. Installing the Courier 6 Power Armor is uh, pretty easy. It's one single file. So just download that. But also, if you want compatibility with mods like Project Nevada or the Advanced Recon Thermal Night Vision, uh, you can download the them at the Nexus website page. I will link below. And it's a single file for both compatibility patches. Now, for the compatibility patches, there are two one for the Advanced Recon and one for Project Nevada. If you don't have both of those mods, you can delete the one you don't have. Okay, so once you've got those files, go along to Package Manager. First of all, make the Courier 6 Power Armor foe mod. And after that, the Courier 6 Power Armor compatibility patches. Then it's simply a matter of activating the main file and the compatibility patches. Now, again, I'm going to move the power armor with the other power armor I've installed. I'm also going to move the Project Nevada and Advanced Recon compatibility patches to the same area. Now, as I said, you should only use these two compatibility patches if you are using those mods, Project Nevada and Advanced Recon Tech. If you, if you are not, delete one of them, or both of them, if you've not got either of those. But that's it. Then you've installed it. Okay, so if you want the Courier 6 Power Armor to have less rust, um, go along to the Data folder, and you'll notice two folders. Uh, and the one we're looking for here is the Courier Alt Texture Less Rust. There is also one that has no writing on it, but I like the writing. So let's just go along to the to the courier the no rust uh, folder. I will select all of those and copy them. So that's all the files in this folder. I copy them and I go back to data, and then I go into textures. You're then looking for mythic courier gear. Paste over them all. So you're going to do do this for the next six conflicts, copy and replace. That has now replaced all the textures. And that's it. You've now got a less rusty version of that power armor. Now, what happens if you want to do a power armor playthrough, but you don't want to wait until you get taught how to use power armor? Well, I have made the perk for power armor training um, a level perk, so you can gain it, I think it's at level 6 or onwards, as long as your repair and science skills are 40 or higher. So if you're a technical person, you can teach yourself to use power armor. Now, it's a single file download, so... Just and it's very small, so it downloads in seconds. Add foe mod. Power armor training. And activate it. This file can actually come anywhere in your load order. Anywhere whatsoever, actually. 
And that's it. You can now take Power Armor Training as a leveled perk. Now the last mod I'm going to show you is the Fiendish Power Armor. Now, I'm the author of this mod, so feel free to tell me that it's a little over the top. I know it is. Um, I designed this really as a sort of melee set of armor. Um, if you if you enjoy fighting the Legion with a lot of melee and etc, this is this is a great set of armor to do it in. Um, it's very high damage threshold, 34. It comes in three different flavors, as you can see, and it's just generally a, a bit of fun. Now the helmet itself actually reduces your charisma by two. I think it's fairly obvious why, but it does grant you the fiendish presence perk. And that perk is identical to the terrifying presence perk, which allows you different dialogue um, when you're talking to people and the option to scare them. Now the fiendish powered armor is, is pretty easy to install, but it comes with a couple of files. The first one is the main armor file. You'll need that, obviously. But there is also an add-on for the night vision and thermal image. Uh, that's for the advanced recon. And a Project Nevada add-on. So I'm going to download both of those because I use both of those mods. And if you don't want to find the items in game, um, there is a cheat file which will summon them to Dr. Mitchell's house. Now I'm going to install that, just for demo purposes, but I encourage you to actually find them in-game. They're, they're in fairly reasonable places for this armor. Then, just create four mods from those files. First of all, the Fiendish Power Armor. Next of all, I'm going to add the Night Vision and Thermal Image. add-on and it's not very well named I should definitely fix that same thing for the Project Nevada add-on And last of all, the cheat item, the cheat foe mod. Then I activate them. And once they're all activated, I'm just going to move them once again up to the other power armor. Now make sure all these compatibility patches also come below their uh, respective armors. So the Project Nevada needs to come after the Fiendish Power Armor ESP and the Fallout Nevada Core ESM. Actually, it can't come above the ESM files anyway. So, and that's it. Fiendish Armor is now installed as well. And that's also it for this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got some uh, great new ideas for power armors you might want to try. And I hope you join me next time. <laughs>